Hey guys, welcome to All Electronics. I'm Gregory, and in this video, we're going to see a very interesting technique to measure the rate of op amps using the analog oscilloscope. I started this journey because I'm full of fake op amps. Take your coffee and come with me. We're gonna use a very simple setup using an op amp here in the middle of the breadboard, a symmetrical power supply, a signal generator exciting the op amp, and you're gonna observe the output using the oscilloscope. The op amp here is configured to a voltage follower configuration. We have a small load of 10K on the output and the 56 ohm resistor here is to better match the signal of the signal generator. A setup like this is helpful because it becomes easy to change the parts here testing one by one. I tested all my JFETs TL072 and all these ones here are fake. And I conclude this measuring this Lear rate of the part. I have a video here from the first days of the channel explaining the differences between rise time and slew rate, where I explain that rise time comes from a linear perspective and slew rate is a non-linear behavior that comes from large signal excitation. You can watch the video clicking here on the balloon. Here I'm starting with a low frequency 1 kilohertz waveform, square wave, so we're gonna excite the non-linear behavior on the edges of the waveform. The low frequency waveform is useful to test if the setup is working properly. Now I'm gonna start to rise up the frequency Let's go for a very fast sweep time here. We start to see the linear fall of the waveform showing the slew rate of the amplifier. And let's increase even more the frequency. Here we have the behavior with 500 kilohertz. We see that it becomes very easy to see the slew rate if we increase the sweep time here. And look at this guys, this is the slew rate of the amplifier. Here the op amp is showing its maximum speed, it can change the voltage over time. And this is what, it, this rate is the slew rate and this is what you're gonna measure here. Take a look on this waveform guys. This is why I like so much analog scopes guys. Take a look on this beautiful waveform here very clear. I recommend you to have one of these units, the Tektronix 2465A, really amazing analog unit. You're gonna be surprised by the capabilities of this device here. One of the common ways to measure this lead rate is using cursors. You can also use cursors on digital scopes. So let's take a time cursor here and you can change the position of the cursor and we can align the cursors in the positions of two crosses of the waveform. So here the waveform is crossing this first line here and here the waveform is crossing this other line here. Now we can use the time measurement and the voltage excursion between the points to calculate this lead rate. We have one, two, three, four volts of voltage excursion. So we have four and 268 nanosecond divided and this is the measured slew rate. This is in voltage per second. The op amp data sheet will specify this slew rate in volts per microsecond. So as we measure 14 megavolts per second, this is equal to 14 volts per microsecond. And this measurement, 14 volts per microsecond, is in spec for this model of amplifier. We cannot exactly say that this op amp is genuine, but it's showing that probably it is not a fake, or if it is a fake, it has very near specifications. And now let's go back to the analog scope where I'm gonna show you a different trick to measure this new rate. Let's go. We see that for this measurement, we used very little time deviation, time difference here. So probably we could extend the precision of the measurement using a different time base on the oscilloscope. But now it becomes difficult to have sufficient signal here on the analog oscilloscope to make the measurement. So let's see how can we do this. This beast here is capable of dual time trace and we're gonna use this feature. In this machine here, we can enable the second time base and if I reduce here the intensity, you can see that I can change the area, the section of the waveform that we are seeing on the other time base. So look at this guys, we can change the position of where we are doing the zoom here, the zoom or actually the trigger of the second time base. And this is very powerful guys, even more powerful because this machine allows for two traces, two positions on the second time base. So if I enable the second position here, we see now that we can have two lines in two different positions. 
and this is very powerful guys we can turn off the main time base having only the second time base here on the screen and now it becomes very easy to align two traces we can align that that transition there and we can align the other transition here look at this guys and now the oscilloscope is showing for us the time difference between the two traces if we place one trace over the other we're gonna have zero seconds here because actually what we are doing here is changing the position where we are applying the second base trace here look at this this is so beautiful look at these guys now it becomes very very easy to measure let's place it here four volts and now we have a much and now we have a much more precise measurement here look how this measurement actually increase it here let's calculate again four volts 275 nano seconds and they have a little lower measured slew rate now that they have a visual setup here it's very easy to measure a lot of devices this is a good device this is a fake one fake one fake one good one fake one well guys i hope you enjoyed this video if so please subscribe to the channel remember you can support the channel becoming a patreon link on the description see you in the next video of all electronics